I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite bunny books. This book is very old and I've read it for many, many years. In fact, I'm hoping the pages don't fall out while I read to you today. It's called PJ the Spoiled Bunny. One of the best things about this book are the illustrations, so you're really gonna get a chance to see those today. It's written by Marilyn Stadler. PJ Funny Bunny was a special bunny. He always had to have his own way. He had to blow out the candles at birthday parties or he wouldn't bring a present. He wouldn't play checkers unless he could play with the red pieces. And he never played cowboys and Indians unless he could be the cowboy. PJ never did what his friends wanted to do either. If his friends wanted to ride bikes, PJ wanted to ride skateboards. If his friends wanted to sail boats, PJ wanted to fly kites. If his friends wanted to go fishing, PJ wanted to go swimming. No matter what his friends wanted to do, PJ always had to have his own way. Why do we let PJ do this? His friends would ask each other. Then one day, all of PJ's friends wanted to play baseball. Wait, said PJ, I think we should play football. His friends sighed. Ah, oh, come on, PJ, one of them said. We're tired of always doing what you want to do. We want to play baseball. No, said PJ. If you're going to play baseball, I don't want to play. PJ was sure his friends would play football. They always did what PJ wanted. But when PJ went out in the field to catch a pass, no one threw the football. We're going to play baseball, they shouted, and they ran off to play without him. PJ could not believe that they would not do what he wanted. Who needs friends anyway? PJ decided, now I can do what I want to do. Hmm, but what do I want to do? He thought. PJ tried swinging for a little while. Then he worked on his yo-yo tricks until the string got all tangled. Finally, he blew up his whole collection of balloons. But playing by himself wasn't as much fun as PJ thought it would be. So PJ asked his little sister, Honey Bunny, to play. Honey Bunny wanted to play house more than anything, but PJ had a better idea. Let's play football, he said. Honey Bunny did not know how to play football, so PJ tried to teach her. First, he showed her how to throw a football. Honey Bunny threw the football as hard as she could. Then PJ showed her how to kick a football. Honey Bunny kicked the football as hard as she could, but no matter how hard Honey Bunny tried, she just could not play football. She was not old enough. Then some of Honey Bunny's friends came to play. Let's all play football, shouted Honey Bunny. Now we can have a real game. But Honey Bunny's friends did not know how to play football either. Don't you love this duck running off? <laughs> Playing football with his little sister and her friends was not much fun for PJ. So PJ went to see what his friends were doing. He was surprised to find out that they were still playing baseball. PJ watched for a very long time from behind a tree. He did not know that his friends could have so much fun without him. Then one of PJ's friends saw him behind the tree. Come on, PJ, he shouted. We need someone to play outfield. PJ wanted to pitch more than anything, but he didn't say a word. 
After all, he couldn't always have his own way. He was just happy to be playing with his friends again. Hope you're enjoying your day. Go outside and do some playing.